In front of you stands the Chateau de Vincennes. It not only served as a hunting domain for French kings, it was also their place of residence from the 12th century all the way up to the beginning of the 18th century. Jean Chapelot, director of the CNRS, presents the chateau. When you pass through the Tour de Village or Village Tower, you're entering at once a palace in a royal residence. Try to imagine that in this palace during the reign of Charles V, all of Europe's aristocracy passed through this tower to come see the king, work with him, serve on his councils. They came to attend the christenings of the royal children, who were often born in Vincennes, and they came for grand receptions as well. We are in one of those rare places where we can say with certainty that all of Europe's aristocracy and the king worked here. The royal residence of Vincennes saw two distinct periods of development. First of all, towards the end of the 12th century, the sovereigns created a hunting manor house in the forest. This became their principal place of residence after that of the Palais de la Cité in Paris during the 13th and 14th centuries. During the 14th century, with the development of the 100 Years' War, the vacation of Vincennes changed. It remained a royal residence, but also became a fortress. To begin with, the king had a dungeon built between 1361 and 1369. This was mostly done by Charles V. Secondly, Charles V created a fortified town. He first built the surrounding wall measuring 1,100 meters, only 100 meters shorter than the wall surrounding Carcassonne, or comparable to the size of a small medieval Episcopalian city. After that, he built the Saint Chapelle, or Holy Chapel. To fully accomplish his architectural project, he had to have a church. It was the third part of his project, and though Charles V began its construction in 1379, it wouldn't be finished until the 16th century. We are presently in front of the northwestern corner of the castle's surrounding wall. Inside the walls, enormous, standing well above the fortified wall is the dungeon. Behind the dungeon, covered by a slate roof, is the king's pavilion. It was built by Laveau and finished in 1658 for King Louis XIV. The fortified medieval wall surrounding the castle was defended by nine towers that vary in surface area but are almost identical in height, that is to say 40 to 42 meters, counting up from the bottom of the original ditches, which were four and a half meters deeper than today. These towers also served as housing for the sovereign's friends and family. The Tour de Paris, or the Tower of Paris standing in front of you, like all the towers at their origin, was previously the same height as the Tour du Village, which is on your left. That means that at about 15 meters high, it was at the same height as the Chemin de Ronde, that place atop the surrounding wall where the guards did their rounds. After your architectural tour of Vincennes, take the opportunity to visit the castle and its medieval towers, its dungeon, its Sainte-Chapelle, as well as its two large 17th-century pavilions. Now, walk alongside the wall of the chateau. Then take the path to your right to get down onto the pavement of the Avenue Général de Gaulle. Once you're opposite the building on the corner at 16 Avenue Général de Gaulle, stop and listen to commentary number four. <laughs> 